Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick tip on continuous velocity. So what does continuous velocity mean? Well, I'm going to show you. I have this cursor here and I'm going to place some keyframes here and I want this to fly through the screen. And uh, Okay, let's start here. Let's make it uh, start off screen. And I want it to go to this point here and then it needs to go out of the screen. So I have three keyframes. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I have keyframe one, oops, where it is? One, two, and three. And I'm going to give this some nice curve so it can flow through the screen. Right click on the layer, go to transform, auto orient, orient along path, okay. So, and then give it the good rotation like that. And now it floats through the screen, um, quite all right. But I want to give it some easing, of course. So I'm going to select all of the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, That's easy stuff. Then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to drag it out because I want it to fly into the screen fast and then kind of float a bit here and then um, fly out again. So we can do that like this. So it goes really fast and it goes slow and then it goes fast again. But what happens, what happens then is this. It goes in, it stops for a moment and then it flies out again, which we do not want. We want this movement to be continuous. It doesn't need to stop moving. So I'm going to um, select these two points here because I have they are, they are separate keyframes now and I can move them up, but you still get this ugh, janky, janky movement. So select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant, no, keyframe velocity, click that. And then we have this button continuous here, click that, hit OK. And now they are locked together. Now this is one thing. So move it up a bit and there you go. Now you have a nice movement. Let's change this um, curve a bit. So the movement is a bit nicer. And I think we can go even faster like that. Okay, my just make them smooth. Like that. Nice. So yeah, so now I have this nice continuous movement and it doesn't stop moving in here, but it kind of floats a bit and it, it, it slows down a little bit, but it doesn't it lo doesn't look janky. Um, so that's that's basically it. I've added some extra stuff to it uh, here, just a little shadow and a reflection. I'm going to show you quickly how I did that. I duplicated this cursor here. Oh, let's put on this. I duplicated it, so I have a shadow. Um, I put the position down in this middle keyframe here, and then let's open all my keyframes. I gave it a, a scale, so it scales down a little bit here in the middle. I give it some opacity, so it's like from uh, 34 here to 10%, and then again to 34% here, so it kind of fades out in and out. And I give it a fast box blur and also keyframe the radius, so it kind of, here it is some st a strong shadow because it's closer to the floor, and it gets a little bit less bright and less vivid, and then it's back again. And I also made a reflection, just a white solid, this is a big white solid with two masks on it. And I've created, I've, if I go to feather, I, I feathered the masks out. And then I'll just um, mat it into this alpha layer here. Um, alpha mat it into this reflection layer. I just duplicated the cursor again, put it on top, and it's a mat in there. And it also rotates a little bit, um, this, but it's just a simple two white squares feathered out. Uh, so that's a really easy, basic way to do that. So that's the tip for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Um, and I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.